Okay, welcome to this uh, short video tutorial on the timeline. Um, let's suppose we've got a project which has got uh, lots of different objects in it, as this one has here, and we're happy with how it's playing out uh, in the first part of the project, but somewhere in towards the middle or end we uh, want to review how the project looks and possibly make amendments. Now, we can uh, press play and we can watch the uh, project unfold and then we can stop at the point where we might want to make changes but clearly if it's some way into the project uh, you're going to have to wait quite a while to get there so there is an alternative a fast track so let's suppose um, we're happy with the project up to uh, object 6 but object 7 the football player uh, we want to review and possibly make some changes uh, instead of pl pressing play and having to watch all of the first six objects uh, come in and before we can see what's happening with seven we can use something called the timeline and we access that with this uh, button up here with a T on it if you hover over it it says timeline if you click on there uh, you get this timeline pop-up box and this shows you all the objects uh, in your project in order and the timing so our hunter or explorer starts at zero, our sailor, the second object, comes in at four seconds, um, the cowboy is our third object, comes in at eight seconds, and so on. Um, you can, If you want to actually start the project from any particular object, all you have to do is click on it in here. You can navigate by using the slide bar here, or dragging the slide bar to where you want it, or you can just click uh, on the, on the uh, timeline here and hold your mouse key down and drag it to where you want it to be. Here's our ball player, so we click on him and we click play from here and OK and you can see the project starts playing from that particular point. So you don't have to watch all of the first start of the, or the, or the first part of the project to get to the piece uh, that you're reviewing. Uh, also notice on the timeline that when we select an object uh, you get uh, some information here it starts this one starts 12 seconds into the project has a length of four seconds that's the total length and so it ends uh, at 16 seconds into your project um, you can change the drawing time uh, from here so if you wanted to change the drawing time for the surgeon you can press the up button increments the drawing time in half second intervals or decrease it as so such um, as well uh, you can't at the moment uh, amend directly any of the other things, but you can call up uh, the properties for that object and you can amend uh, any of the sliders and options that we've already seen in entrance and exit effects. Okay, So it's just an easy way to navigate quickly through your project. Um, there's one other way you can do this. If you um, start the project playing up here with the green play button uh, the timer will start you can then pause it and you can drag it throughout the project like this you can see so you can find the place you want to be doing that as well um, and you can press stop to to stop that so if you just want to review again from a particular place in the project rather than using the timeline click the play button and then pause it and then move it to where you want it to be roughly which was our ball player I believe there and then you can click from there and it will continue to the end of the project so there's just a couple of ways of doing it okay that's the end of this video thanks very much